throw yours up at the house. Like. Yeah. I remember at, I forgot which event it was, but it was like Anti was in top eight. And then like the people from Air, Arizona, they would do the Wakanda chant. <laughs> it was a great time, good time. Oh, uh, that was a that was a thunder event. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. Were, yeah. E <laughs> good times, good times, man. But yeah, so we're yeah we're getting into it very soon. Uh, I just, so Cookie Slayer now. Yeah, and of course Cookie Slayer he is uh, also a player that is also in the Velvet Room right now, waiting on that Joker to come out anytime soon. As you can tell by the "Take Your Heart" <laughs> phrase right there for his in-game tag. Probably but as of right now, he's a uh, young Link player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wants to play Toon Link, but. Uh, yeah, Young Link's just uh, probably better. <laughs> man, I still like Toon Link, man. I, 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 I just, don't get me wrong. I still think he's good, but yeah, yeah. I, I get why I get why people are doing it, but I think I feel like the hipster in me has made me play Young Link or uh, Toon Link more than Young Link just cause. I also really wanted to play Young Link too, cause I thought like you know he was gonna be like an aggressive Link, but he's not. <laughs> I mean, he's aggressively camping, but he's definitely not <laughs> getting in your face like I thought he was gonna be able to, or right. like I thought people were going to do originally. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, we're finally going to be able to see a Ridley uh, on on stream now. So we'll see how that goes. You don't really get to see them too often, but they're very niche with the top players, like we said before, like all the Ryu players from Smash War picking up Ridley now. And uh, some people still have interest in the character. He's just very strange overall because uh, he's got a really large hurt box in general, but he's not a heavyweight. He's or not, not a super heavyweight. He's like medium weight ish for some reason, so that means that he's susceptible to dying really early compared to a lot of the super heavies and having that hurt box at the same time. Ridley, man, I just, dude, I, I felt like when Ridley came out and everyone was trying to say he was bad, I just never <laughs> saw it, man. I felt like he was like, I think if you're like a, a fast, heavy character in this game, uh, it's kind of hard to be like really bad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the same way I felt about like, I don't think anyone ever thought DK was bad, but that's why I think DK is like so good in this game because he's like, he's a, he's a heavyweight and he's fast and his arms are based in swords, so it's just like, yeah, I don't know, man. He's got he's got a lot going for him. But regardless, let's see what happens uh, between our two competitors, man. Ridley versus Young Link. This could be a little bit of a problem, though. Him being that big and all these projectiles that we're gonna see uh, coming out could definitely be an issue. All right, let's see. What, oh, starting off on Talon City, actually. No Pokemon Sam this time around. But of course, you have those close range boomerangs. They're going to set up into fair, and you're going to get a really nice combos very easily. Hey, Zan, wow. Kind of taking it to him right here, at the, or, or Cookie Slayer, sorry. Uh, <laughs> taking it to him right at the beginning. Only 12% only so far. That's the one thing, I feel like that's the one good thing that really has, though, is like it's really hard to uh, challenge or you, you can't really challenge really recovery unless you have like a counter or yeah. you do it well before it comes out because it's like his wings or like whatever direction he's flying are pretty, pretty much intangible. Here we go. Doesn't get the full drag though. Good uh, mash out. When you are under Ridley's percent, you can mash out really easily. Yeah. Oh, the boomerang comes back. Able to set up into a nair. Oh, and I like that. Uses the up air to break the bomb that time around. Oh, face shot. <laughs> Watch yourself. Uh, no jump read or anything like that. Uses that fair. I mean, that has a, a lot of range, so it's able to keep Young Link out very easily, especially at the ledge, too. No hardcore ledge trapping coming out from Cookie Slayer quite yet, but the back air, that will be able to close it out there. Wow. Really, like, surprised that, that back air even popped off like that, but here we go. Getting the back air carries. Uh, looks for, I think, an F tilt right after that, but it's a little off the mark. I like that. Okay. Big <laughs> option. Double uh, spinning attack. Mm -hmm. That spin attack doesn't send you outward, it will send you like straight up. So if you try to DI in for it, you'll pretty much set up into another up B. Very nice stuff. Yeah, yeah that, I've seen, I've seen, um, you know, Young Lins also do up B or um, spin attack into up air too. So mm -hmm. he's got some pretty uh, cool confirms off with that. Uh oh. Bomb hit him, should be able to make it back though. Yeah, multiple jumps should be fine. Oh, but there! That actually will be able to do it. Like I said before, Whitley's not a super heavyweight, so he is going to die a little bit earlier to some stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the real problem right now is that like uh, uh, a lot of it is just having he can't get off the can't get off the sides, so he's dying a lot earlier than really should even be dying to move that he probably shouldn't be dying to because he's stuck so close to the blast zone all the time as he's like always got his back to the uh, edge. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the safe shield pressure, trying to go for a shield grab, not quite finding anything though. Okay. Oh, looking for a lot right there. I think a little more extra drip should be able to uh, pick that up. Gets a good drag. Oh, another oh, one. Okay. Yeah. It's a quick way to invade someone's space, especially when they're doing the boomerang startup. Oh, and a low recovery, a little bit too low. Not quite going to be able to make it back to this stage. All of a sudden, late, bring this all the way back. Uh, okay. 
Down tilt doesn't get the up air though. I think that down tilt was the yeah, down tilt was a little too far away. So that's probably some pretty good DI from um, from Cookie Slayer. Yeah. He just needs like one good setup. Oh. Okay, down throw to fair. Yeah. Easy bread and butter from Ridley. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get through that. Yeah. Gonna get through that every time. So even with the bomb being there at the end of the stage like that, just him having those intangible wings and. Uh, I'm hitting so far up ahead of him or above him. Is that gonna be enough? Yep yeah, that's, that's really hard. Strength on it. <laughs> yeah, that was really that's really hard to avoid just a uh, arrow Just get hit by another arrow and then get chased down and then you got the second one hit confirming into that nair really nice stuff from Cookie Slayer keeping his cool doesn't let the fear of Ridley <laughs> get to him yeah, Arrows are like really really good in this game mm -hmm. Yeah, so because it's just enough hit stun to like pop you up and not be able to do anything it's yeah. not like you just it's not like you just get hit and like stay on the ground because you get popped up That's the, the really big problem with the the fire arrows and dealing with them in general. Yeah All right, so uh, kick switching their first game pretty hard um, Looks like uh, late probably expect or probably thinking about what he could do You know what uh, what his next step is if he, if he has another character. I'm not sure uh, but I don't think I don't think the really matchup in, per se is like so bad that he has to switch. But I wouldn't be opposed to him switching either. Mm -hmm. If he had another character. He doesn't switch though. Gonna go ahead and keep the uh, Ridley going. See what he can do in the second game on I think it was FD. Yeah. yeah. I mean this allows Young Link to still set up for all of his stuff. Uh, I don't think it was really the platforms, but maybe it's just a comfort pick from Lane, I'm not hundred percent sure. Big damage right here already starting off. Uh, it's able to kind of confirm to a lot of these up Bs, of these uh, spinning, uh, spinning attacks. Oh. All right, still keeping up the ledge trapping. That boomerang not quite spacing itself correctly, though. And of course, that Ridley Nair, we gotta talk about that. It covers so much space, dude. Man, yeah, he just, like, how does he get off the edge? That's the real problem. Dan is playing right out, the, out of the area, basically, to where, like, he can get off the ledge with an attack because he keeps trying to come off the ledge with the forward air. But Zan's like outspacing it just enough so he can throw a boomerang uh, and then also get a confirm off of that. Wow, bombs all over the place too. I like the bomb traps. Yeah, it's very similar to like Snake, for example, where you can do the grenade traps on the ledge. The, the timing on it, it takes a little bit longer for them to detonate, so not quite getting the trap that he wanted. All right. Okay, so I'll take the back air. Oh, damn. Jumped out of shield. Probably thinking that was an up tilt instead of the up smash. So that second hit scoops him up and the third hit finishes him off. Yeah. Okay, was... chomped. Yeah, he's okay, going out wow. There. Yeah. Deep edge guard. That time worked out for late, though. So, I don't know, man. That, that squash strike must be popping off right now. So, <laughs> But yeah, man. Uh, Like, well, yeah, the deep edge guard, sometimes that's what you got to do, man. And, and, and that's, I think that's one thing that Smash Bros. players... Uh, sometimes struggle with is like getting out there because they don't you know they're, they're used to kind of just waiting at the ledge and go for the trump so uh, but sometimes you've got to just get out there force that air dodge out uh, force people to recover too low whatever works yeah but of course like you said before the ledge trapping and again denying in that's gonna be a free up air very nice stuff Oof. okay forward tilt Ooh, oh okay <laughs> yeah all right uh, I think he was probably too close for that to get the uh, the tipper skewer anyway so we yeah. got that like that weak damage but still Gotta test him out. Mm -hmm. All right, the ledge trap situation again. Ooh, yeah, use this yeah. as a side B to recover. Great way to get someone off your back. Oh, but the Nair puts him on stage. The recovery angles I hear from uh, um, from Blade, though. Yeah. Ridley's up B is so interesting. It doesn't work like the Firefox or the Spacey's up B. There's like a set number of directions that you can go to depending on how you hold the stick. Oh, is he able to make it back? Yes, and the high recovery with the uh, spin attack as well. Yeah, yeah. He, he basically picks like five directions. That's it's mm -hmm. super, super interesting. Uh, but you know, if it works out for you, it works out for you. Ooh. Oh man, bear one setting into bear one and two. This is such a good move, man. Here we go. Back to keeping up their space. Yeah, I mean, he's not, he's not too far off of being able. Okay, that's like being able to get the stock <laughs> and, and clean it up. That back here will end up uh, tying it up right now between our competitors as far as stocks goes. But uh, but Lane definitely needs to get himself a game right here if he wants to keep himself in the winner side of the bracket. Oh, cooking the bomb. Decides not to get anything off of it. And still the flurry of projectiles. That's so difficult for Lane to really get anything going. Is most of the time it's been Zan kind of playing, or excuse me, Lane playing Zan's game, and then 
when Lee gets something, it's just like either a trade or he able to get like a, off of a mistake that Zan makes on zoning. Yeah. I like that double grab that he actually attempted to go for. I think if the bomb didn't explode, he would have been able to at least get a little extra damage off the drag before he mashed out of it. Okay. Neutral air. Going to make it back to ledge yet again. Big opportunity here from Cookie Slayer. Oh, again, the empty hop. Yeah, that will get called out by the, the side B. Yeah, unfortunate for him though, because he's you know he's lowering uh, percent, he's gonna be able to mash out the side B's all the time. You get that side B at higher percent. Oh! No, oh, false finish. Okay, a f false finish again. Oh, but he didn't okay, have a jump. Actually, not. that was a, that was a finish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A true finish. <laughs> a, a yeah. Delayed true finish. Delayed hyping himself up at the end there with that taunt. Yeah, that was um. Now, I, I don't know how, how he caught his jump. I wonder what he was trying to do. I mean, he's probably trying to come back with a back air. Mm -hmm. And then him getting a uh, dash attack before the back air came out, so. Yeah, moving out of game the three. Yeah, very nice stuff. Alrighty. Back to Town and City. There is no DSR, <laughs> so you can't go back to a stage of D1. Two bands, on. though, right? Yes, two bands. Two bands. All right, so yeah, I, uh, I mean, Town City is not a bad stage. I mean, you know, with, with your guys' stage list, I feel like you, you definitely can ban whatever two stages you don't like and still be cool with all the other stages that are on. Uh, but like in other stages, it's like when Castle Siege on, I had to waste a ban on that because I just don't want to go there. I don't even want right. the opportunity, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. exactly. All right, let's see what happens here in this third game. Uh, late taking that second game. Uh, look, a little, uh, a little unorthodox uh, the way that that one ended, but either way, looks like Zan is opting to kind of play the more of a defensive game this time around. As you see him, you know, cr creating space a little more with these uh, boomerangs, with these arrows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for that rollback. Especially on the ledge, too, he decides to fade back and use the boomerang. That way he can catch the side B attempts and then keep him off stage again, rather than yeah. trying to go for like the nares or something like that. Okay. A fire arrow still going in, though. Not able to find anything else. Dash attack clips him off stage. The fireballs, I mean, Youngling's recovery is pretty good, so avoiding the fireballs is relatively easy for him. Yeah. Oh, okay. He tries to air dodge back on the stage, but uh, unfortunately for him, uh, that neutral is going to be able to cover that uh, that option. Oh, man! Like, yes, yeah, and it's like he, he's keeping the pressure up, and he's in the right spot at the right time. It's just uh, as far as his execution on uh, the right option, that's his best up. Like that, that down there would have been godlike. That was that was good too. Nice bomb play, bomb to the up air, super high up there. So he was not going to be able to live that. Yeah, very oh. nice stuff. Oh, yeah, and big combos already coming out into the fair. 60%. I just blinked, but he's still going on with it. Not going to be able to quite get the stock, but he's still going hard off stage, and the drift is not enough. Amazing zero to death coming from Cookie Slayer there. That was, that was godlike. That, <laughs> that's the type of, that's the type of uh, two-lane gameplay that I like to see that makes him want to actually play the character. You know what I'm saying? He went in. All of, uh, okay, he's going in again. Tries to get another arrow. Mm -hmm. Scoop. Side bait's going to be yeah. up. Yeah. Just enough stage for him to get that a little bit of extra damage, but also being that close to the edge. It's all gonna be all she wrote uh, for Young Link. So, okay, quick neutral airs yet again. Man, it's like, okay, try to, try to, <laughs> I think, I'm not sure if he meant to do that or, uh, or if he thought that was like a, gonna be an air dot down. Okay, back on say I like that. Get the damage too. But either either way, Zan also gonna go ahead and turn back, that right back around and get himself uh, an aggressive landing with that down air, so. Oh, that pivot force smash not quite finding its mark. But again, another potential boomerang combo. Another potential fire arrow combo. Three in a row does not get the hit of the fair at the very last moment. But he that will get it there with the boomerang. Nope. Oh, not quite. Oh, wow, the platform actually going to help out. Oh, but he does not punish that in the way that he should have. And he's going to pay for it, but not enough. Yeah, just going to pay for it with a little extra damage. Yo, man, oh, he's wow. going so hard off stage. Like, he just knows that he's pretty much got this in the bag. Yeah, not going to land on the platform. Yeah. So that's late SD Slayer, again. Man. Yeah, Cookie Slayer for the two stock. Great Another stuff. Cookie Slain right there. <laughs> yeah, Good stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was just really phenomenal gameplay. Phenomenal edge guarding coming in from uh, Cookie Slayer. And 